Hello everyone, welcome back to the HashiCorp Certified Terraform Associate uh, Certification Catalyst Program. This is question number 12. So let's go straight to the question. So your team has started using Terraform OSS open source in a big way and now they want to deploy multi-region deployment, basically disaster recovery in AWS using the same Terraform files. So you want to deploy the same infra like a VPC EC2 in both the US East 1 and also the US West 2 using the same script and then peer those VPCs across both the regions. So for example, to enable DR traffic. But when you run your script, all the resources are getting created in only the default provider region. So what should you do? Provider setting is as below, provider AWS region is equal to US hyphen East hyphen one. So for example, this provider setting is the by default, the most default provider setting and most of you might have been only using this provider setting, which is good because in this provider setting, you are choosing the region, which is US East 1. But in this case, what you want, you want the same Terraform script. Okay, for example, ideally the same Terraform script to be able to create resources, both in the region of this default provider, which is US East 1, but also to create similar um, infrastructure in another region called US West 2. For example, this one use case might be you want to create the same infrastructure in US East 1 and US West 2, then use some sort of a uh, tool like either Zerto, or for example, Cloud Endure to enable some sort of a replication, DR replication between these two uh, in, uh, environments, the compute of these two environments. Okay, so that in case of a DR, uh, if the primary region, for example, US East 1 goes down, you can start up US West 2. Okay, so what are the options? Number one, no way to enable this via a single script. So you need to write two different scripts with default, different default providers in the two scripts, one for US East and another for US West. So while this is correct, meaning that this can be done, but it is not that there is no way. It, there are ways to do the entire thing what is being requested using a single script, okay, and which is what we want. But yes, in case we wanted to use two different scripts, we could have one script with the provider AWS with region US East 1, another script with the provider AWS with region US West 2. But what about the peering? Say we want to do the peering between the VPCs in US East 1 and US West 2, which provider should we use? So the peering could not have been solved like that, but yes, the basic infrastructure could have been created for both US East 1 and both US 2 if we have two separate configuration folders completely with two different providers, okay. Number B is manually create the DR region once the primary has been created since you are using Terraform OSS and multi-region deployment is only available in Terraform Enterprise is incorrect. So mm -hmm. Terraform, this has nothing to do with whether you are using Terraform OSS or Terraform Enterprise. So once again, I'm saying that most of the Terraform features which are like not uh, features for use with multiple teams like collaborative features like Terraform workspaces or clustering or big setups. So the basic features which are needed for the actual infra provisioning, they are mostly the same across your all Terraform, whether it's OSS or cloud or enterprise. Okay, so this is completely incorrect. So this feature that we are going to talk about, it's also available in Terraform open source software also. C is use provider alias functionality and add another provider for US West region while creating the resources, meaning the DR resources using the TF script, you should reference the appropriate provider, meaning you will have two providers. One is provider AWS, which is your default provider, that is for region US East 1. Then you have another provider with an alias, for example, DR, where you will mention the region is equal to US West 2. Now, when you create your different resources, you just mention your provider. So normally, if you're using a default provider, you don't need to mention the provider in your resource definition because by default, it uses the default provider. But when you have multiple providers with aliases, if you want to use any other provider, which is other than the default provider, you need to use an alias. So this is a correct option for now. So you can use a provider alias functionality and you can add another provider just like this provider. You add another provider with an alias for the other region, US West 2. And you can basically then use the Terraform script and there you can mention that I want to use this other provider to basically leverage my create my infrastructure. And also the peering can be done because during the peering you can mention the provider. So what is the provider peering of your, what is the provider of your disconnection, meaning the starting connection there by peering is bi-directional. You need a connection from VPC1 to VPC2 and again from VPC2 to VPC1. So all of those you can mention directly using this alias. And these create a list of regions 
and then use a for each to iterate over those regions and then create the same resources one after the one over the loop. So here they are saying that, for example, create an array of called region array where one uh, element is US phase 1 and another US phase 2, then you iterate over those and mention. But no, this is not possible because none of the Terraform resources take the region as a parameter. They basically rely on the provider setting. What is the region of the provider that is being used to call the Terraform resource module basically. So they rely on that provider. So even if you iterate over the loop of all regions, there is no way because you cannot specify the region there. Okay. So the answer is C, use provider alias functionality and then add another provider for US West region while creating the resources using the TF script you reference the appropriate provider using the alias. So let us very quickly check the document. So see what is saying you can optionally define multiple configurations. So different config doesn't only have to be region any type of configuration that can be defined from a one provider to provider for the same provider and select which one to use on a per resource or per module basis. The primary reason is for this is to support multiple regions for a cloud platform. Other examples include targeting multiple local Docker host, multiple console hosts, maybe multiple subscriptions in case of an Azure, okay, and so on. To include multiple configurations for a given provider, include multiple provider blocks with the name, same provider name. The provider is AWS, but the alias meta argument needs to be set this argument to an alias name to use for each additional configuration so this is the default configuration okay so this does not have an alias now there is this alias well west so this is the additional provider configuration for the west coast region so this provider block without alias is set is known as the default provider this is the default provider when alias is set it creates an additional provider configuration okay for providers that have no required configuration arguments, the implied empty configuration is considered to be the default provider configuration. So by default, there is one provider configuration for US East 1 and that is US West 2. Now how to reference during creation of resource, how do I reference this provider? So as you can see, when Terraform needs the name of a provider configuration, it always expects the reference of the form provider name.alias. In the above example, AWS.West would refer to the provider with the US West region. So wherever you are using the provider, you need to set AWS.West. These references are special expressions. This is okay. So for example, I will show you later. So for example, here, when I am creating this resource AWS instance called Foo, I mentioned this provider is equal to AWS West. So this AWS instance will basically be created in this West, meaning US West 2 region. So while creating the resource, Terraform will know that it is referencing these alias providers. So we'll, it will use the provider settings from here. One of the settings is the region, which is US West 2, and it will use that setting. So basically, this is something that you need to know. For example, you have to set the provider. Okay. And you can basically, you should ideally go over this entire documentation, not only the alias provider section, because provider is a very important part of the exam. And there will at least be one question using, I hope there will be one question with this alias thing. Okay, this alias part will come. And also for your actual Terraform use, this is something that you are going to leverage extremely as soon as you start using Terraform and you span across either Azure subscriptions or AWS regions, then this is something that you will use extensively. So this is a very good learning. First of all, it will come in the questions, basically highly probable that this, uh, there will be a question with this concept in the exam I got one and along with that there is a chance that for example you should also know that this is something that you should know regarding for your actual day-to-day -day work okay and also go over this entire documentation of providers okay not only that alas section there are some other things here also that are very important okay so thank you everyone please share your uh, comments or feedback and let me know uh, in case uh, there is something else that you need from me.